Hey, this is Steve Keys here with Keller Williams Capital District. We are here for another walkthrough of the week. This week we are here in Scattacoke. This is Hoosick Valley School District. This is 57 Partridge Street in Scattacoke. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom home. It is a little bit under 2,300 square feet. It sits on just over a three acre lot, uh, butts up to uh, uh, water, water view, water view, water edge, waterfront, water something. Uh, we'll see it when we go through the walkthrough. Um, so this is a B level property. Uh, this is this uh, the property is in generally good condition. It has some minor cosmetic uh, issues to be done, stuff like painting. Uh, could use some updates, uh, kitchen updates, things like that. A uh, solid B level home, and we will see. I'll point all those things out as we go through in the walkthrough. So if you or anyone you know are looking to sell in this current market, now would be the time to give me a call. You can check the end of the video for my contact information, or you can head to my Facebook page and you can get my contact information there. So we will go ahead and we'll get started with the walkthrough. So we are here today in Scattacoke. This is Hoosick Valley School District. This is 57 Partridge Street. And Scattacoke. This is part of the uh, Deer Park new construction subdevelopment uh, that they have in here. This is not a new construction home. This is one of the original homes built, um, but this is Scattacoke, so uh, they don't sell new homes like hotcakes out here. So there's still lots available for the new construction. So uh, for the purposes of the walkthrough, I'm going to walk through the side just because it's going to be easier to catch everything in a, in a loop the way I like to. So this is a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom home. All in all, it is a little under 2,300 square feet. So we enter here into the side. We have this empty space right here. Could be an eating area, a little bit more of a dinette. There is a, a formal dining room later on though, so really this is just wide open space. There's a pellet stove over there in the corner. And that is the rest of the kitchen, which we'll go through in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to look towards this way. This is the laundry room. It's a very wide space. Well, large space, not really wide. Coat closet there. And then off the laundry room is the half bath. So you have the vanity there. And the toilet. All right. And then I'll let them in here. Perhaps it would have just been better to do this before I came inside since this is one of the first things. I don't want to go to the kitchen, I'll, for, I'll forget to come back. So this sits on uh, just over three acres on the lot. So it has a very large backyard cleared space. And then heading down the hill there, you can see the water in the back of the trees. There's a little dock there, a little boat. I'm trying to find something to point with. There you go. So right there, that's the water right there, right along the pointer. Right above it, that's the dock right there. My camera just focused on my pointer everything off and there's that they have that little boat right there again not saying the boats included in the sale I was just pointing it out for you know purposes of verifying that it is water so very large backyard here with uh, water access it's a small small pond um, feature all right so now with the rest of the house So here we have the kitchen. Got a breakfast bar area right here. 
They've got a table placing for an island. This does have stainless steel appliances here. You can see the stainless steel dishwasher right there. The stainless oven and range, electric, and the stainless refrigerator right there. No built-in microwave. One could be installed over the oven. Continuing through the kitchen, we have the formal dining room. So formal dining room here. Window off the back. The chandelier overhead. Off the dining room, you have the living room area. Here. All right, and now we'll head upstairs to the bedrooms. This is the entry door hallway. You can see it goes back there into the kitchen. That is the front entry door that we saw on the face. So we will head up the stairs to the bedrooms. I'm gonna head to the right here first. This is, there are four bedrooms up here. Here's the first. This bedroom hadn't been, isn't being used. So they'd been using it just as storage. The door is fine. It was just, uh, they were painting this room, which they're still in the process of. So uh, they would remove the door for painting purposes. Here's the second bedroom. Very large closets in these rooms. We got double bifold doors. Doors are probably six feet wide. And the shelves do continue a little bit further past the doors, so probably eight or nine feet wide closets. And all of the secondary bedrooms. So now we'll head past the stairs towards the other way. This is the third and final of the secondary bedrooms. They're all basically the same, pretty equal space. Closet positioning is a little bit different. This closet is placed at the end, but it's still the same size as all the other ones. And I think I'll hit the master bedroom last. So I'll hit the full bath first. This is the shared bath for these upstairs bedrooms. So it's got a shower tub combo. It's just a, a vinyl surround, uh, an insert, I'm sorry, insert, shower tub insert for the bathroom. And then here is the master bedroom. Master suite. So there's the bedroom. Has an overhead fan. And then off to the side here is the bath. Master bath. Vanity there. And another shower tub combo. Uh, vinyl insert the end and then off to the back where I came in is the master closet it's a pretty large closet so a longer closet not necessarily as wide I kind of prefer those doesn't waste as much dead space on the middle of the room that you can't use. So, large master closet there. 
All right. And that concludes the walkthrough. All right, so that is the walkthrough. So, uh, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, little over, little under 2,300 square feet, sorry. Uh, sits on about a three acre lot. Um, so it's a nice house, large home. It is a, it is a B level home, so it could use some updates. It has a few minor cosmetic issues. Um, it could be painted. So there are, there's, there's some cosmetic, I don't want to say damage, that's not really the right word. Uh, but you can tell that it's probably the original color of paint in, in a lot of the rooms anyway. Some of the bedrooms, as I mentioned, had been repainted. Um, so there is, yeah, so some of them have been repainted, some of them haven't. Uh, the flooring, you saw the whole second floor was carpet. Uh, typically I'd say that makes sense because it's a bedroom area. But it's uh, the original carpet, so the carpet's about 10 years old that is a little bit worn. I Personally, I would replace it. Um, what you replace it with would be personal preference, but it is showing a little bit of wear. So that's something that I would replace. And as for the kitchen, really it's just the countertops. They are laminate countertops. They're in very good condition though. They're not showing any signs of damage. Uh, so they're in very good condition, the countertops. Um, but if you wanted to compare it to modern, you know, what's considered modern standard brand new houses, um, they're not granite countertops. So really it's just those three things um, that could be updated. Again, I always say it doesn't need to be updated. This is a move-in ready home. Certainly anyone can move in, make those updates as they go. And then as I said, B-level home, uh, you've got the potential to add the equity to the home um, as you make those updates. So B-level homes, always the ones that I prefer because it gives you room to go. You can actually increase the value of your home as opposed to the A-level home, you've got nowhere to go. All you can do is maintain the level that it's at. So B-level home, this is a good quality home. So check the property information page to get the most up-to-date information on the property. If there are any price updates, if there's any special incentives being offered, any open houses, those will all be found on the property information page that is posted in the description of this video. Please like my YouTube, no, please like my Facebook page, like my Facebook page, uh, so that you can see more walkthroughs of the week and any of the other videos that I post on that platform and anything else that I post on that platform. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, that will have all of the videos that I do across every platform. All of those will be posted in one spot. So if you're just interested in videos, you can just go to one location. You can see everything that, I, that I've been doing. So that has been this week's walkthrough of the week. Thank you for joining me. And please tune in again next week for next week's walkthrough of the week. Bye-bye for now.